Uh, this is the second part of our semi-finals. Both teams have a chance of getting to the first place battle to become the international kings of the sea. For Shaft, an EU team, we have St. Vincent and another St. Vincent. We've got double Des Moines, Petropavlovsk, and four destroyers. Gearing, Marceau, Haragumo, and Ragnar. Uh, what do we have for Vor, which is the uh, only Asian team uh, and also only non-EU team that, that's currently in internationals? Yeah, we're, we're, we're cheering for them. They've got double St. Vincent, Marseille, Napoli, Moscow, Marceau, Gumo, Kaba. Oh, now we're not. And Yu Yang. Good old Kaba. We did see mm. Kaba on this map take three. Yeah. So there, there is that. All yeah. right. Um, I, I didn't set up the reverse bonds because I was lazy and thought they were going to display it for me. Uh, that tr tur turned out not to be the case, so we will do this. It happens, guys. No worries. Uh, okay. We should not be stuck with an ad. Awesome. I should have okay. been better at but checking Early that. doors again. Vor now mm. going heavy Alpha Bravo, mm -hmm. uh, bringing only a Marceau Napoli to kite. I do like I do like Marceau Napoli as your potential kite flank. Unfortunately for them, they're running into five. Marceau's fast, doesn't have smoke, but can run away, and you know he's yeah. clearly running dazzle, so he'll be able to dodge <laughs> everything. Napoli has the ability uh, to use its own smoke to be able to. Uh, get out of a hairy situation yes. sans radar. And it's got those wonderful 12-kilometer torpedoes that everybody forgets about until it's too late. Remember what we were talking about, though. With taking Tears of the Desert, you're giving up Alpha Spawn, mm. uh, and I am very fascinatingly watching what uh, Shaft is planning on doing. They got the Ragnar in there early. He's capping, but take a look. They're actually going to put the same Vincent on this island. Mm -hmm. No way. I mean, you got to put a battleship there. That's the meme at this point. And they brought two St. Vincents, so they're four. We will see a St. Vincent there, and that's Vert. Vert's a bit of a battleship uh, prodigy, or at least a, a well-known battleship player. So I don't expect him to get go down easy. Unspotted. Yeah, well, and... The only mm -hmm. way this this is what makes this island so powerful. He gets to decide if he's going to help at A yep. or help at C. Yep. And because they only have Marceau Napoli there, yeah, he's going to be able to back up super heal whenever the heck he wants. That's right. Now on top um, of that, on top of that, because of the way the island fits, um, that side of the island is far more powerful than the southern side of the island in terms of protecting yourself from incoming fire. Early on, he did, and I think this is part of their strategy, he is turned to help with C. Uh, mm -hmm. They have not figured out, despite uh, A cap being capped, uh, mm -hmm. that uh, one, two, three, four, five, six so, and a half with the same Vincent are uh, going to be threatening A. So Vert is detected. Uh, Vor knows where he is. They don't know about the Ragnar yet. Uh, stressed Possum, Petropavlovsk, Radaring. Catching Sweet Tiage's uh, Marceau, Tiage's Marceau, and uh, I don't think the Napoli has been detected yet, but both teams, or, or both ships on Vor, already kiting away. Vert turning to help out C makes sense because that's clearly where the shaft push is going to be. Well, and the. Uh, I'm trying to think of the map. I always call it the turtle. Nice hit on Classic Noun. You've got a similar setup now available to Shaft with this full island chain mm. where they're going to be able to, if this Marceau Napoli cannot stop this push, and I, they've got the St. Vincent to help. Yep. Uh, if they're able to get this Petro or Des Moines and St. Vincent along this island chain, mm -hmm. good luck getting into B. Mm -hmm. Because every attempt you make will be radared out and shot at from multiple directions and angles. This is looking really good for Shaft. Oh, absolutely. It's looking great for Shaft. I think it's a very powerful uh, initial position. And I'm looking forward to seeing um, what Vor is going to do about it. Because that's that's up to them to figure out. Look at the Marceau 
going into B Cup right now. Yeah. Well, and there's a small window of time. That's right. Where he can go in and maybe torp brush. I don't know. If you just stay in there and hold the point, you're just giving them time so, to move the Des Moines and the Petro over. And yeah, it's not going to work out. That's the issue, right? Is sitting there is giving uh, Shaft the time necessary to redeploy those ships accordingly. I completely agree with you, especially that Hargumo Des Moines Death Nail down on the eye line. They're going to set up south of, of the B cap with guns facing the general direction where they think that Marceau is going to be. So they're going to lose that opportunity. Look at, look at Vert. Vert is actually leaving the island. Huh? No, no. Wait. Yeah. He no stopped. way. And I mean, he, if he, if he knows he's, he's spotted there, uh, I know what he's doing. He's turning around. He's turning around to face uh, what he expects the enemy to do, which is to push through B. Big hit there on the Moskva Asphodelus. That's huge. Yeah. And look, now the Petro's set up. Now the second St. Vincent is there in B. And we talked about this a ton. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if you get your team into this situation, every single player on your team sends the two kiting people whose mm -hmm. sole job is to delay, 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 and hopefully stay alive, should be getting into a position to reinforce and now punish because Vor is now forced to try and do something at B or potentially, as we've seen last round, end around and get A. I do like what this Napoli is doing. Yeah. Um, he's he's being tricky. I don't know if, what his, uh, if he's spotted. But so, he's at least putting up some resistance here. When you kite away, it's generally a good idea to kite away in a different direction than the rest of your team. It forces... Ooh, first kill. Kamikaze is going down to the combined destroyer spam of Vor. Makes perfect sense. They have four freaking ships up there, so they needed that to happen. Mm -hmm. But anyway... And Radar Yu Yang is hard charging at this gearing who needs sure. to, to go east and fast. So that's the thing. Vord needs to, to completely destroy this flank in detail. Look at the Ragnar coming up to support, by the way. Um, but like I was mentioning earlier, when you kite away, you want to be kiting away in a different direction than the rest of your team because it forces the enemy to have to decide, do I, do I point my bow towards the kiter or do I point my bow towards the center of the enemy? And that's what you can see is happening with the Des Moines right now on the eye line. He's actually kind of stopped there. I think he's in smoke. But he's not willing to come out and charge the Napoli. But the Napoli's pushing him. I think this is the play that Raptor's missing right now. Look at the Napoli. Yeah, Look the, Napoli. He's getting to the Napoli. Yeah. Look at that. To the Des Moines. He's getting right up there. He's turning south again. He's Show getting... us the Napoli. I think, he... <laughs> I think he's getting ready for the Des Moines to come out of the smoke. As soon as that smoke expires, the Napoli is just going to execute Napoli him. Napoli spotted. Okay, Napoli spotted. Napoli at least. spotted. Okay, we can at least see it in the distance. We're watching it through the... Yeah. We're watching... Oh, no, turn! We're missing it all. That's okay. But that puts a, a big kink in having that Des Moines Gumo, and it does look like Marceau's coming That's to right. assess, assist on both sides, so it's a 3v2. And, and I'm watching the HP bar yeah. religiously. There you Ooh. go. Napoli down Napoli to 38k. Torps in his direction. But now he's realizing this. He could, here we go. If he could do some damage here, and he's got a, he had a near broadside Des Moines for a while. Yeah, but the oh, problem is, they found it. There the problem it is. is that now the Marceau is going to, yeah, he's gone. He's gone. He's dead. He's dead. Unfortunately, he kind of flopped the uh, approach there. Oh, no. Des Moines takes... He takes some good hits. He, he takes some good hits while spotted, he but he has, lives. Yes, but he lives. I mean, heals that he has. He's got to have a lot of heals. Best still. Naomi, with that shot from the St. Vincent, uh, obviously he wanted to kill the Des Moines. Did not happen. Um, very bold play by that Napoli. I would have liked to have seen him go farther um, east before turning north. But he must have gotten spotted by the Marceau. Uh, I don't think that the Des Moines radared, but it's always a possibility. Well, and it's taken at least one radar off of B. It's put more pressure on Vert, and it yeah. does look like you've got Kaba, Gumo, Masva, Yu Yang, St. Vincent, 
Uh, the second St. Vincent not in position. Nope. Uh, and the other Marceau on the two line is heading over. And so now it's pressure, pressure, pressure of the St. Vincent. Try and dislodge him before the win. Des Moines Gumo Marceau can come and support him. So they did disrupt right. the reinforcements. And right. look where they're at. The Gumo's in a good spot to be able to shoot the St. Vincent. Ah, Vert Now he's going to be spotted on the other side. Vert changed to the other side of the island. Interesting. Announcer coming in saying the enemy is about to win. Which is interesting. And yeah, they've got, uh, because they've held B, you've given up B by having this spawn. It's 800 to 580. Yep. It's even on ships. Yep. And uh, while they did a good job, on the side of Shaft to protect B, uh, the Des Moines Gumo uh, was was significantly delayed by this Napoli. Sure. And now you're starting to see them retake the western side. So sure. as long as the St. Vincent stays alive, I think they're going to be just fine. We might see Sweet CIJ is under fire in the Marceau to the south there. He's firing against, looks like Zill's Marceau. Um, but there's Hargumo and Des Moines there as Ush. There he goes. Okay, so that's another big kill. Uh, for Shaft, as Raptor is now looking over and realizing, hey. <laughs> yeah. But the problem well, Gumo is. Gumo Tor Brush is. This is a Tor Brush, but we the Gumo need to see, We need to see the Gumo Tor Brush, right? Exactly. Here comes the Gumo Tor Brush on Vert. Now, remember, he does have. Oh, he stopped. Why did he stop? Why? Oh, you're going to get you so stop? punished for this. He had. Reload it. booster popped, he but now you, you. You're smoking? Okay, so he's uh, trying. He's trying to smoke. There's a Petro. Yeah, I don't like this. Oh, well, he's twelve four away. Petro te technically can't so, radar him. So he could, he could be smoking forward and south. So he's got a shot on Vert. He's choosing not to. Instead, he's backing up, which is, I guess, your standard destroyer play. But uh, it's nine twenty to five seventy eight. Yeah, you can't allow for that to happen. This is a big mistake, in my opinion. And the St. Vincent of Dark Temple is yeah. on fire. He does have, a, he can reprint this ship. And now, the same, the second St. Vincent of Shaft is is going to die here. What's interesting is that Dark Temple, and I didn't get a chance to comment on this yesterday, Dark Temple is a cruiser player for four. I've seen him so many times in a cruiser, especially a Moskva or a Stalingrad. So it's interesting to see them playing him in a St. Vincent as the Haragumo now backs behind cover and now they're they're expecting the Moskva to do something I'm confused they they lost the Marceau for a St. Vincent Look and at all of this shells coming in this is why you don't pick tears because you give up alpha ah. this is what Elser could have done about three times over the course of COTS and just opted to take Bravo. They could have also chosen to bring, you know, not good chips. Yeah. Dark yeah. Temple is about to go down here. I don't think he's going to be able to uh, survive that. His heal is not available no. anytime soon. There he goes. Bit of a wasted push, unfortunately. They wanted to get the enemy St. Vincent down. They did, but lost their own St. Vincent in the process. And at this okay. point in time, Shaft has... C cap completely okay. locked. Look at this. We've got we've got the lupus is Yu Yang. He's about to go in, and then he gets radared, and he's gonna stop. Well, well they're well. using the Kaba to try and burn down the Saint Vincent with the Gumo smoke staying out of radar range. Yeah, but the, the Gumo is detected. He just What's the same? Fit? Can he can he heal this? I don't no, know. he dies. It doesn't but look like it. Funny when that battleship ball? dies at, at 974 points, he's done his job. He has. He oh, has. Big, torps, big Torps on the Petro. Petro just took deep waters. Oh, wow, yeah. If they could take him down, there's Without a the chance. The dying. Uh, but Stress Possum is at 6K. He's backing up. Oh, here comes some shells. 2K. 2,500 of the Marseille shooting in. We're They're missing gonna be able that, to take unfortunately. Down the the Moskva's Moskva going to die, too. but Stress Possum is going to die, too. He's at 16. There he goes. Okay, so with him oh, that's gone, a trade. that's a trade that also allows the Yu Yang to actually cap B. Here's the thing. They need at least two more kills. How are they going to get those two kills? How is Vor going to get back into this? They need to find the enemy Marceau. So they have to kill him. Or and the it's, it's going to be a straight push 
into they're either gonna have to go and stop points at sea. Yeah. Which uh you've got a Marceau Ragnar gearing just waiting. Mm -hmm. I think it's gotta be spot the Des Moines. And your power right now for W and D, or for, I'm sorry, for minutes. Vore, is you have a battleship. That's right. And they do not. So um, perhaps the Des Moines. Quick question for chat. Was that announcer voice way too damn loud? If so, let me know. I'll turn it down. I have it set to 200% volume so we could hear the shell hits and stuff like that better. But if that's too damn loud, let me know. But you're right. Uh, St. Vincent now coming in. He's detected. Uh, obviously, for amazing knows he's there. Hargumo floor for 20. All they're trying to do is just kite away. They win in less than a minute. Unless they put something to stop C and force the issue. And I think that's what they're going to have to do with the Marseille. Because Yu Yang is uh, heading south. Kaba and Gumo, we're not quite sure what's going on. But we yes. have a gunfight. Marceau versus Marseille to protect C. Hun, hun, hun intensifies. This is 24 seconds. Marseille needs a reload booster now to win. I don't think it's going to happen. And then Naomi finally detecting the Haragumo. He's going to fire everything he's got. He's, his turrets are wrongly angled, though. Oh, if he turns, the Des Moines going to clock him. Doesn't matter. With six seconds to go, you have to do everything you can to try to get those kills. Vor is unable to capitalize, and Shaft is going to win game one. Great, great game. Oh, fantastic. And here we go. Game two uh, is ready to go. Would you like to talk us through Vor's lineup, sir? Uh, sure. On Vor's side, you've got Ohio, St. Vincent, Des Moines, Moscow, Petro. You're going quad destroyer. General looking Carter's. at Gearing Marceau, Kaba, Yu Yang. That's right. And then... Um, Shaft, now remember, this is best of three. Shaft has one game off over Vor, so if they win, they will move on to the ultimate finals. Whoever loses this faces WND for third place. That will come up next after this series ends. So Shaft is choosing to bring two St. Vincent's, two Des Moines, Petropavlos, Gearing, two Marceau's, and Harugumo. I gotta say, I like the choice of two Marceau's. We've seen what two Marceaux will do. And if that's a legendary Gumo, I'm looking at... So Petro's gonna gonna be the middle for Shaft, right? And that means Des Moines on either side, St. Vincent on either side, and I've talked about this. Uh, Marceaux in tandem at yep. B. If they get it for free, then they can swivel and, and overpower whatever side they're gonna go to. But yeah. every part of this strategy is mirror flexible. Yes. Um, and that is not what we are seeing on Vor's side. So they are committing heavily to A with Yu Yang, uh, Kaba, what? No. And uh, this is Marcel. Yeah. This is almost very ironic because Vor is more well known for destroyer play, right? Um, and yet at the same time, we're not seeing that out of them right out of the gate. We're seeing them play, at, in, especially in the last battle, a more traditional style game. Both Marcel's now radar. under radar yep. threat. Uh, they will probably try to stay because there's a six second delay between shots. Boom. They get it. Now they can leave. Very nicely done. The Petropavlovsk, the only ship that could shoot at them immediately, stuck behind an island. That's but, a cap for the price of 600 hp sure but the, the the other price though is look at the marceaux they have both split up we so talked they split about that up yeah i don't like that as the kaba is getting uh is getting assaulted here interesting i don't like this this split but that does mean that the seaside is where shaft is going to and this that's weird if you got b <laughs> yep then then yep. a b is so much easier to hold oh god yes i like what midi says two marceau is so last cots kind of feels like that so far huh but no one can beat it <laughs> i mean unless they it, defeated themselves by splitting up unless they defeat themselves by splitting up i don't like this marceau in the dome right now mm -hmm. and i think he's realized it as well and is turning up so mm -hmm. vor has all their potato chips in a and yeah, I hope we, but see, this is the flexibility. Chips. 
We're about to see the Gumo smoke this Des Moines up. They do not push this island. If the, I don't know how many of these ships have been spotted, but at that first that first salvo only, should tell you everything you need to know. Vert is the only player for Shaft who's been spotted so far. So I absolutely. I'm saying for Vor. Okay. I was like, do, say, they, do they know they're going heavy A? They have to know. No. I don't. I don't. I mean. I don't know that Shaft knows Vor is going that way. Um, the bigger thing, though, take a look at the Kaba. The big, yeah. The bigger thing, though, is the fact that the is that Shaft is setting up a Doom Snail north with a Des Moines to try to get that Des Moines either up to that island or at least in a kiting away position, um, just south of that island. Either way, you get them in position okay. to lock they're down. They're not going the for the. They're, with they're not going for the island at least. If no. they were shooting that Gumo at the island, I would be so disappointed because Shaft so far has essence of S triple C. Mm. You've got smoke, you've got radar cruisers. It's mm -hmm. nothing but teamwork. Mm -hmm. That would have been the first misstep, but no, I, I like it. They've they've put it all the way, smoke all the way to the corner of the map. That's right, and then you can see Dark it. Temple because he opened fire on the Saint Vincent. Vert is nope, he's okay with deep waters. Uh, he's detected for a little while. We just see Raptor changing now to what Shaft can see. And Shaft can see only the Yu Yang. And uh, now he's switching to uh, Vor's vision. Vor can only see the St. Vincent. So, yeah, well, take a look. Mm. This is this is this may bite him. Uh oh, the, pe the Petro that was on the traditional island for Shaft mm -hmm. has actually moved in to help C. secure C. Yeah. And because of this, Kaba, Marso, Moskva are going to be able to pivot over and potentially yeah. cap B at, a, at an advantage. This is this is really good timing. It's very good timing. Now, what's interesting, too, is that the Marceaux are starting to get back together again. You got Zill moving towards Seacap. Uh, you've got three ships that are all moving now. Okay, Gassando fires at the St. Vincent. That will announce his presence. And the Des Moines gets clobbered. Wow. Not dead. Wow. But hurt quite a bit. And Here comes more shells. The firepower. More yeah. clobbering. That's the That's Petro. That's from the Petro. Yeah. yeah. And they didn't know he was there until no. now. No, so that should be the trigger. It's time to go Cap B because yeah, you're exactly. about to lose a Des Moines. Exactly. Ooh, 684. I think this Des Moines going on. Yes, he does. First blood to Shaft. What a hit. And that's, we'll call this the pseudo lemming. It was a 7-3 mm. with the Ohio able to crossfire and likely planning on crossfiring A. So it's a 7.5 to 2.5. And, and here you go. Going in Ka right now. Kaba Marceau going for B. This Marceau of Shaft needs to just chill. Mm -hmm. You can afford to lose this cap until your team wins handily at sea. But look at the damage. There's no damage no. on Shaft's side. Shaft is They're doing in very great well. shape. That being said, Classic Noun detected. Will the Marceau open fire? He does. He wants to get those resets. But at what cost? Yeah, that's a mistake. At what cost? He's the only person that's going to be targeted by four ships. Here he comes: Ohio shells, Moskva shells, Marceau shells. But see, and once he once he realizes he's he's made the mistake. Mm. Nope. Oh, I was about to give him credit. He stopped shooting. He fired no. again. He's trying to get those. Resets. That was there's. Oh, that was a huge mistake. No, I mean as he as he gets um, more room to maneuver, uh, he'll do, he'll be doing better. I actually think it was smart for him to keep shooting. Because if you look at it, he barely took that much damage. But what that did, though, what? was it slowed down. Um, it slowed down the cap gain. He lost two thirds of his health. He lost for... two thirds of his health, but that was yeah. at the early part of those trades, not when he was turning away and running. Eh, I would have stopped shooting, maintaining above all else, maintain HP on destroyers because you may need them. That's true. That's true. But and you and also... here we go. They're wrapping around C. Mm -hmm. You also don't want to lose, though, by a mere seconds on point tick. So I can understand the decision to keep shooting to try to get those final resets going. Best Naomi. Are these Marceau Torps? Yes, these are Marceau Torps. And one hits. Oof. Only one hits. 
Those were uh, from Zills. Uh, I mean, it's exciting to see a Marceau actually hit Darbs. It doesn't right. happen terribly often. Well, they're nine and kilometer range, but yeah, especially against an Ohio that's cutting away. Now, Vert. Look now at, look. Yeah, look hmm. at but look at Kaba, um, Marceau. They're coming, they're coming back, and now they've committed to this island. Mm -hmm. You don't need to win every cap, every side. You got such an advantage at sea. Let yes. the win flow yes. from there. So, A, you mean, okay, yeah, so, because, because AB, holding AB, I think, is the key to this map. C isn't as important. Shaft taking their time getting through C. It, hopefully, for Vor, it gives them a chance to kill the St. Vincent. That's what they need. That's their win condition, yeah, in my opinion. That right is now. their win condition. And Gumo's going to open up here. Mm. And I think, uh, there, yeah, there's nothing. The Petro is coming forward back into B. The Marceau is south of the Thunderdome, but unable to shoot at the two destroyers that are in there. Right. But see, the moment the Eastern guys get here, Shaft is in such a huge advantage, and they have a ship advantage, that's so there's the, no point in trying to win this. That's the moment that they get here, and they absolutely have to kill um, Vert. In order for that to, in order for this whole gambit to be successful, as Hanabi's Petropavlovsk is probably going down here, he's just coming under sustained fire from Argumo. Ooh, Four Amazing takes a Yu Yang deep water torpedo, takes him out of the game. Now this is huge, because look at the Saint Vincent. Because he's the Saint pushing. Vincent, because Vert yeah. is quite low, and Dark Temple is pushing south. So this could actually become a more decisive engagement, as a result of that. Des Moines for amazing going down for shaft. So Vor is in the driver's seat. If they can kill Vert, they do right through the butt. Torps out on the St. Vincent from the Gumo who spotted. Oh, big hits on Dark Temple. I mean, he knew those torps were coming, but he had to maintain that course to get around as quickly as possible. He prints a new ship. He'll be okay for the time being. Meanwhile, look at the Moskva. He actually turned around. Or did he pull forward? Either way, he was quite low. He hit the heel. He's looking a little bit better now. Yeah, oh, no. I think you the may Petro be died. mistaken that with the Petro. He's yeah, he dead. Did die. You're right. was replaced him. And if, if Des Moines St. Vincent didn't push that island unnecessarily, mm -hmm. they could be at like H34 right now, right. creating the ideal cross shot conditions to win by holding BC. Instead, you've got this Haragumo that's running for his life. He just made Inky. He's. He's uh, continuing to move south, and hmm. they're going for this Ohio. That's best Naomi. Yeah, he's quite they, low. They've as got well. a chance. They've got a limited window before that heel pops. He's not going to go unspotted. No. That's it. And he's dead. That's it. So okay. Do you see how powerful that eastern flank is? Once mm -hmm. they were able to come around. Yes. Now imagine having Des Moines Saint Vincent on the south, and that that's game set. Man, I'm very surprised that she mm. has. So here's committed the, to that island. Yes. Here's the thing, with the with the with the loss of that Des Moines uh, south of the uh, of that middle island, it does allow for Vor to say, well, we don't care about the Haragumo. As you can see, both Saint Vincent and Yu Yang changing course, heading back north. Again, um, Stress Possums getting farmed for resets. They will not be able to cap unless Zill is able to sit in the cap. And uh, all they have to cover this is Moskva radar. That's correct. Which which has to be popped soon. Yep, yep. Decent hit now, there from St. Vincent. There's just the danger of an, of an overpush. Yep, as Raptor's trying to point out that they've got this huge line that is trying to collapse upon the Thunderdome. And right now, Shaft is uh -oh. ahead on cap. Classic ahead down. on point. Classic now getting into a, a gunfight here with Petra Pavlovsk, with Stress Possum's Petra Pavlovsk. Um, I don't know about that fight. I'm surprised the St. Vincent of Vor is going north. They won that side. They have a path to at least have some so, type of flank. They know the Des Moines is north, and they know the St. Vincent will overmatch it in the process of moving that way. He might get a shot on Stress Possum's the Petra. Is about to win. So... I get that decision. Um, as far as Aruha's Marceau, 
I don't know why he's sitting here and shooting. Well, and the St. Vincent of Shaft is in danger. Yes. Here comes Torpedoes. He's fine. He turns Funny Torp out. Uh, the bigger question is going to be, what happens when Dark Temple's St. Vincent gets into position? He's close. Uh, there goes the Marceau, unfortunately, for Vor. Look at that. Double Marceau firing in tandem. Super yep. powerful. Very powerful. And that should be a very dead Marceau, and that should seal the deal. Yes. But... Look at this Hargumo firing at Classic Noun from long range. Love it. You want the Thunderdome? You got the Thunderdome. Well, yeah, and that's because they left it. they left him there. Yeah. There's no pressure, and you've got five ships within a four a two by two grid grid square. Yeah. And I really think the only mistake was the St. Vincent pushing. Mm -hmm. uh, but it doesn't matter. They can lose him. Let's take a look. Two Marceaus or one Colbert. <laughs> Very true. Very, very true, Cthulhu. All right, one torpedo is going to hit for the St. Vincent. Ouch. As both funny torpedoes from Dark Temple are out, he's not expecting to win or at least survive long enough to get into range to utilize those torpedoes more effectively. That is unfortunate. Masva now coming he, in, too. He didn't, he didn't oh, give the funny to torpedo. To hit him. Cassando, nope. Cassando. Oh, yeah, he did. Hit. He gave a little too much angle. Yeah, he hits with his that's guns. A big hit and if that wasn't going to kill him the torps were yes as Fidelis expertly dodges that torpedo salvo but that's um, it that's points that's time that's it's time shaft, shaft is going to move on i don't have to update my winner screen shaft has won 2-0 in this particular match against vor which means for our finals we are going to be looking at an eu team versus another eu team